Hey everybody, Randy here in the Eastwood Garage with another live video. Today I've got Cody with us again. How's it going guys? And uh, we're going to cover plasma cutters, show you how easy they are to uh, assemble right out of the box, how easy it is to cut. Um, we're also going to show you some cool accessories. We've got a, some cool prizes today. All you guys have to do is share. So just remember, click share and you're automatically entered to win the prizes. It's all it takes. And if you have any questions or comments, just post the questions in the comment section under the video. And we've got Scott over here, our lead tech. Scott, say hi to your fans. You guys know him. You love him. He's here every week. He's going to take your questions. He's going to answer them. He's going to throw some of them out to us. We're going to answer them. Yep. And, um, oh, so, so let's get back to this, this prize. The prize today is the Eastwood Guy Starter Kit. Everything you need to start your life off as an Eastwood Guy. It's a welding jacket, plasma shades, it's the gloves. Cody's got the outfit on. I've got some of it on right now. So that's our prize today. All you have to do is click the share button and you're entered to win. It also makes a great Halloween costume. We're coming up on that time of the year, you know, so if you want to dress up yourself or your kid, you know, it's a, it's a great costume idea, you know, be the star of your party. All you got, you know, you go to the Eastwood guy and impress your friends. So all you have to do is click share and uh, you're entered to win. So now that we went through all of that, oh, one other thing. Our daily deal, this is why we're doing, our daily deal today is the VersaCut 60 Plasma Cutter. Yes, it is. Huge deal. If you're watching this on, on Eastwood, there's going to be a link to buy right under it so you'll see what the sale is. If you're on Facebook or YouTube, uh, all you got to do is click the uh, link that's in the comment section. So if you're on Facebook right now, there should be a link in the comment to buy this and you can see what the deal is. The deal is only for today and it is a huge sale. So if you're thinking about getting a Plasma Cutter, um, at some point you're going to want to click that link and at least check it out. So, all right, Cody, so what do we got going on here today? So on the table here today, we got all three of our plasma cutters that we offer. We got some of our accessories and we also got some consumables. So starting over here, we got our cut 20. This is designed to cut sheet metal up through eighth inch plate. It's 120 volt only. It's portable, it's compact. It's our cheapest unit. It's our most economical. And it's a great way to get started in the plasma cutting. Yeah. Another great way to get started is our cut 40. This is our most popular plasma cutter that we offer. It'll cut everything from sheet metal, you know, 20 gauge, 22 gauge, all the way up through 3 8 plate. It's 120 and 240 volts, so you can take it to your buddy's house, cut stuff yeah. over there if he doesn't have a welder outlet. And if you do have a welder outlet, you can cut the full 3 8 plate capacity and it'll run great. A great, great one for a restoration. Yeah, I mean, this is and, a great do it all said machine. It, it's, it's 120 and 240. Yeah, so we. So how does that work? We provide you with this adapter cord. So you plug okay. the plasma cutter into the 240 volt side. Which and is then, also, two, a lot of people commonly refer to it as 220. Yeah, it's 220 to 240. Yeah. And then you have a 110, 120 volt plug here. So now yeah. you can just plug this right into your receptacle. And it, you need a 20 amp circuit. And now it's you'll be able to run much, up to about. It's going to cut much thinner metal on 120 volts. So. Yeah, you can only cut about eighth inch plate, similar okay. to this cut 20. You yeah. can only get about 20 amps of plasma cutter output yeah. when it's plugged into a 120 volt circuit. So then. The, the big one, one today, the one that's daily deal, this is our VersaCut 60. This will cut up to 7 eighths plate. It's a, it's a monster. Yeah, I, I mean, I've cut 7 eighths with it and it, do, it does, it's, it's, it's do impressive. It. And it's light too. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's only about 45 pounds. Yeah, you can carry it around. I mean, it'll do everything on your restoration if you want to do some heavy metal fab. Yep, all yeah, right if, there. You, if you work on heavy equipment too, I mean, it'll cut whatever oh, you yeah. need. Small bridges. <laughs> and and it only requires, strictly 240, right? this is strictly 240. Now all of these units, they only require about five to seven CFM at 60 PSI. The cut 20 actually runs a little lower on the PSI and the CFM requirements, but that's a great guideline. Mm -hmm. So you want about a 30 gallon air compressor to power these and they need to be on a different circuit. You don't want to plug these machines into the same circuit that your air compressor is on because then that combined yeah. draw will be too much and you'll get decreased performance. And we've got some accessories here. We're going to, sh we're going to show them later. We can just kind of let's just go over now. Joe can get in. So you guys can see what we're going to talk about later. We've got the, the plasma, plasma tape, tape right here. We've got this cool plasma cutting guide for cutting circles and It'll stuff cut like circles, that. It'll cut circles, squares. And then just the consumables. You know, they're all here at Eastwood. And we even have this plasma cutting table, which we'll take the stuff off and probably go over that a little later too. As well as our huge extension cord right here. So even if we got you covered the whole way through, it's a nice 25 foot extension cord. We also offer it in a 40 foot if you really oh, need to get out foot. there and reach something. Really? Yeah. I ought to get a catalog. Probably would have known that. So, all right. So, let's. So, what do you. So, when you get this. So, when you get this, this is how it will come out of the box. You'll yeah. have a torch. 
a ground clamp, the machine. So the first thing you need to do. And so there's four things you hook up in the front. Yeah. The and first the thing back, you want to do is figure out what air Joe, fitting you, you need to match your airline and connect it to the rear of the machine. So this is just yeah. our standard quick, quick disconnect fittings that we yeah. use here. So you put that in, which we've already done. Yep. Flip so, it around. So let's just put air so to Joe it. So you can see. And there's just a few connections in the front. So it's real simple. You have your, your main torch connection, which is this brass nut here. And don't forget, guys, if you have any questions, just post them. Scott will answer them. Uh, we'll try to get to them here on live. And I guess, like, he, like we were both saying, this is our daily deal, which is usually a, a huge cost savings today. So if you uh, visit Eastwood, click the link below the video. Uh, you can check that out either now or when the video is done. The, the link will be there. It, it'll be there all day today. And don't forget to share because we're giving away the Eastwood Guy Starter Kit, some welding jacket, gloves, and uh, plasma shades. So all you got to do is click the share button and you're entered to win that. We'll pick somebody tomorrow. So even if you're watching this recorded, you can still hit the share button and have a chance to win. So now we got our torch connected, we got our pilot arc circuit connected, and we got the torch switch connected. All we got to do is connect our ground clamp. And that's just a simple, it clicks in and then you turn it 180 degrees till it cinches. So the entire Assembly is what a minute, minute and yeah, a half. Yeah, a minute or two. I mean, and, and, you're, then and you're, you're ready to cut metal. Yeah, I mean, we, we give you some other things like a couple consumables to make yeah. sure you got what you need to keep your plasma cutter working. Because you, you so. know, because you, you will go through some tips and stuff as you. Yep. So, and they're all here. So all right, turn try. Can we try cutting something? Yeah. So before you cut, you, you really need to get the Eastwood Guy starter kit, <laughs> or at the very least, just get yourself some plasma cutting shades with like a shade five at least get some welding gloves and get a thick welding jacket. You want to make sure you got close to shoes because sparks will fly. Yes. Make sure there's no paper nearby. Or, yep. Yeah, yeah you want to keep all flammable stuff about 35 feet away. So we'll connect our ground clamp. So what are we gonna cut first? Uh, so let's cut some eighth inch aluminum first. Oh yeah, it'll cut steel and aluminum. Yep. So we got some aluminum here. Let's just uh well here, well, while he's setting it up, you want to check out Joe, can you get into his plasma cutting table? This is great. See it has these removable slats. And we can see this here. You yeah, this is them? a pretty sturdy table that we sell. And then you cut, you can see there's some slits in it from where because you can cut, one advantage is that you can cut right on this. So if you're cutting something heavy, most of the stuff we're gonna cut, we're gonna let it fall off. But if you don't want it to, you can cut, you can right, cut here, right here, and then it won't fall off and, and dent your concrete floor, which is a really nice feature of this. So as they get slid up, you can just turn them around and then put them back down in. Now you can use this side, and then you can buy more of these. Yep, we also sell the kit to replace all of them. So that's, it's, a, it's a pretty cool, really cool table. Now before I start cutting, I'm going to set the machine. I'm going to turn it all the way up to 60 amps since we're going to cut some thicker material here first. And then I'm going to trigger the torch. <laughs> And what that's going to do, I'm going to check out what air pressure I'm at. So right now I'm at 60 PSI. That's yeah. going to be great for this thick material. You know, we're eventually going to cut some 5H steel. <coughs> so this will work well. Now let's get the plasma shades on. Damn. No problem. Nice You're a lefty, quick. huh, Cody? I am a lefty. So you get a nice clean cut with that aluminum. It's a nice, all you have to do, once you're done, you just want to flip it over, hit it with the file, clean it up real quick, you're good. and you're good to go. Put this back. So now let's try on. this quarter inch. So now when you're cutting large plate, and you want to make sure you have a nice clean cut, one thing you can do is grab a piece of angle iron and use it as a fence. So we're going to set that down here. Do you need clamps or is that going to be sturdy enough? Clamps would help. You typically can get away with something smaller like this without them, but it's great to use. So let's clamp this down. Do you want it on this side or is that going to screw you up? That's okay. Uh-oh. Now you want to make sure you're in the I don't think I'm in the, uh, that table. I'm between the... Uh, whoa! I I'm not on something, am I? I'm talking to myself now, maybe. 
All right, so while Randy gets that set up, one thing to remember, all of our plasma cutters come with a three year, no questions asked warranty. You know, we're, we stand behind all of our units. Yes. We provide the parts to fix them. We'll send you out a torch if you need a torch or a ground cable. If you get a unit that is just, it does stop working or it becomes defective, we'll send you a new one, no questions asked. We stand Scott, behind our, our stuff. tech department. He's the one that you'll probably be talking to when you call in. He'll take care of you, get you set up with something. All right. Fix problem. So let's try and cut this quarter inch. Nice cut for a lefty. There we go. Yeah, not bad for a lefty. Yeah. So we got a nice clean cut. Now all you got to do, if there's any slag on that backside, you can just take a hammer, knock it off. There's, but there is like no slag. Yeah, I mean that's a Which nice. Which is one clean really cut. nice thing with plasma cutting. If you have it set up right, and it's hard to set the machine up wrong, it really is. You're gonna, you're gonna get no slag at all, yeah. pretty much. And if you are running into issues, the best thing to do is just stop. You know, maybe change out your tips. Make sure you got yeah. clean, dry air coming to it, and make sure you have enough air. You know, make sure you're getting 40 to 60 psi at the torch. Yeah. And then everything should be good. So, Randy, you, you want to give it a shot with that 5 8 plate? <laughs> I get stuck with the 5. Okay. We'll try the 5 8. When you get into this thicker <sighs> stuff, it takes a little more skill. <clears throat> a little more skill? Is that what it you does. said? Did you say skill? Skill. <laughs> I like that. Because you do have to go a bit slower and control uh, your feed. You got that? There we go. Let's get this stuff out of the way. All right. Joe, I'm a righty. Is that going to screw you up or do you want me to do it left handed just to show off? Am I? You know, I heard you could plasma cut behind your back. <laughs> I have done it. So, how do you want me to do this, Joe? Am I, am I okay like this? Or do you want me to go to the other side? Is this better for you? Like this? Okay, ready? I'll try to get over here more so I'm... You know, let me get this out of the way. Got stuff everywhere. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut the end off. This is 5 8 plate. We had some stuff we had laying around from a welding video. So here we go. There, so there it is. A little bit of slag, maybe a little bit of user error. I had it on a little bit of an angle to start, but you hit Not that with a hammer. Yeah, you you can tell. I mean, I, if it gets thicker, you got to move a little bit slower. I got a hammer here, but that's all it takes. Now there's basically no slag on five eighths plate. <laughs> like I said, I mean, I've cut seven eighths with it. That would have took quite a while. With an angle grinder. <laughs> Nicely done. So. All right, so let's turn the machine down now and try and cut some sheet metal. Oh, yeah, we got some of the other tools to use. Do we have any questions, Scott, for us? Right now, we're so good. I saw one of their needs to answer on here. Okay. All right. So we got some 18 gauge here. And the first thing we're going to do, we're going to show you our plasma cutting guide tape. Okay, ah. Yeah, so this stuff's really handy. It's magnetic. It's also self-adhesive if you are cutting aluminum. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna put a gentle curve in here. Yeah. What's nice about this stuff, you can put it on the side of your car. Yeah. Say you're gonna cut out this front fender. You can put the tape right along the fender. And, and, follow, the con like. and follow the contour of the body. And now it'll follow. Yeah. Whereas if you were gonna do it. That compound curve. If you're gonna do a straight edge, 
it's you're gonna have a really tough time yeah. clamping. Like if you were trying to go anywhere, you couldn't do it. But that you know just matches the contour. So, just grab a small piece of this. We'll put it on that piece of plate. Sweet. So, so what do you got going on this weekend, Cody? I am getting married this weekend, Randy. Really? Yes, I am. Huh. I guess my invitation must got lost in the mail. I'm, I think is that what happened? No, I think it said return to sender. Did you? Yeah, I understand. You probably only invited your friends. <laughs> I, I get it. Hey, well, if you're getting married, next week's the honeymoon? Yeah. You're, the East, you're going to wear the Eastwood guy outfit one night? you got to wear this to dinner. <laughs> All right. Let's make this cut. Got our ground still on the table here. We got this supported on the cutting table. Cutting directly on the plasma cutting table we talked about earlier. Now, one thing I like to do, if you're going to make a cut and you're unsure how it's going to go, it's good to do a dry run or two. Mm -hmm. Make sure your, your cord isn't going somewhere it shouldn't be. Make sure yeah. you're not going to trip. You have good arm movement. That is smooth. Well, that was smooth. Yeah, and now that was still at the full 60 amps, and you can yeah, see we didn't, the yeah. cut was a little large. You know, but you're moving good, still, but you get a nice clean finish. We made no adjustments no adjustments to the plasma cutter and we've cut sheet metal aluminum and we've cut 5 8 plate yeah on the same settings it's a so very it's, versatile machine yeah it's, it's hard to it's hard to screw this up <laughs> i mean i wasn't even able to do it so you think our cameraman could cut <laughs> yeah <laughs> is you think it's that easy it might be i mean my mom could probably do it but cameraman joe should we you want to give it a shot? Yeah, we, we, right. ha we have to actually yeah. let Joe. Let me, you'll get them. Why don't I get him some gloves and glasses? Here's, glo here's gloves and glasses here. There's welding jackets. There's welding jackets in the back. Joe, do you want to, we should ask him if he actually wants to do it. Joe, you want to, you want to Do you want to do it or not before we actually, okay. Okay, so here's the gloves and glasses. There's a welding jacket in the back. We'll grab that. I'll see if I can, I'll see if I remember how to operate a camera. Here, let me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. If you can use a plasma cutter, you gotta be able to operate a camera. <laughs> I just don't know if the opposite's true. Okay, okay. I'm <laughs> I'm probably in the view of the big camera now, so let me get out of here. I hope you weren't using that shot. Can you see me back there, Dave, or am I I'm out? Okay. I don't wanna get you some gloves. Now, does he need some kind of special protection for that bun in the back there, or is, there, is that okay? I think he should be free and clear. Okay. Now, if this was overhead cutting, it would be good to recommend a, a hat or some protection. So why don't you just follow him? I turned it down a little bit. We're running about 35 amps, running about 45 PSI with the torch running. Why don't you hit the other side of this tape and just follow that same contour? Uh-oh. Yeah, Joe. Nicely done. It is easy. Hold Nicely that up. Nicely done. I got a trophy. I'll let you take that home. See, you need to get yourself a cut 60. That's yeah, why we're is. doing a daily deal on them today. And what's the sale right now? Yeah, uh, I don't know. It, it, I it's just it's a huge, huge sale there, Joe. Thanks for trying to play along now. <laughs> it's got to be at least 10% off. Yeah. Can I cut something else? You can keep your Eastwood guy, uh, your Eastwood guy starter kit, though, I think. 
Yeah. All right. So why don't, let me get set up with the circle cutter. Randy, you want to come back over? Cool. Good job, Joe. So this is going to be our you want to take off your jacket plasma stuff? cutting guide that's designed to cut circles. It'll also cut straight lines. That one pretty good. Ready? Yeah. This is what it looks like. It's got two <clears throat> wheels that ride on the metal. And then you got a pin that you can use as a guide to follow a straight edge. You can stick it on something and cut an arc. And then you can also flip it around. If you undo this stud, now you can lock it in. Which is what we're going to do. Circle. That's we what we're going to do. some holes. Today. Yep. So. Takes a little bit of time, but it's pretty quick and easy. You got the Allen wrench? You need an Allen key? I have two Allen keys over there. I'm going to need you to you set me up with. Like they were saying, don't forget, you know, huge sale today at Eastwood on the VersaCut 60. So if you go, if you're watching this live or recorded today, Thursday, September 1st, you can get a huge deal. And if you share the video, you have a chance to win our Eastwood Guy starter kit, welding jacket, plasma shades. Welding gloves. Welding gloves. All right, so he's almost got this set up. Any questions at all, Scott? The only thing right now is they want to see you guys cut some into that plate while you're working with it. Oh. Let me get this set up after that. We'll do that for sure. Now, if you're just tuning in, uh, if you go to Eastwood and you search for plasma cutter, you're going to see these other plasma cutters. Plasma 20 for sheet metal. The VersaCut 40 is a good one for restoration. Prior most popular unit. It's been around the longest. And then uh, the VersaCut 60, which is the big boy and the one that's on sale today. Plus all these accessories. Plasma tape, plasma guide, that plasma table, extension cords. All available here at the Eastwood Company. Uh, Welding blankets. Hey, Randy. We've got welding blankets. Can you grab that piece of metal off for me? Welding blankets, which we have all over the floor. Uh-oh. Uh, our cameraman must have welded it made fast. it stick. I didn't know you could weld with a plasma cutter. <laughs> if you play it backwards. All right. Let's try and cut this circle. We're just going to do a little dry run here. A little more torch. And also, I mean, if you guys aren't familiar with Eastwood, we're not just welders and plasma cutters. If you're restoring a car, we are a one-stop shop. Paint guns, metal fabs, paint. Well, that is pretty slick. I gotta tell you, I've actually never used this before. Are you serious? So I'm pretty impressed with that. You've never used that? No, I haven't. I thought you were I thought you were one of the guys who developed it. No. You're not lying to me? Yeah. That's a nice tool. I've seen quite a few people use it. I'm very impressed with that. That works pretty good. Yeah. Cause now some people are gonna say, why can't uh we don't have anything around. Why couldn't I go around something that's a circle? Right? Uh, we don't really. You know, you can you could lay say, a coffee can down here and try and cut around the outside. The problem, yeah, work. the problem with that is, as if, as if, as you go around the torch. Let me show you. The torch, you're, you're going to hit different spots. Yeah, you're going to hit different spots. So, so it's going to change the distance you are away as you go around a coffee can, mm -hmm. and so your circle is may not be a perfect circle. It may right. wander a little bit, where this is going to make that perfect. That perfect circle. Do you think we can cut Eastwood into it? <laughs> I can. Maybe you can. Let's see. No, I probably could. I'm not. Eh. Probably takes a lefty. <laughs> I'll just be impressed if you spell Eastwood correctly. Eastwood. Eastwood. Well, 
Looks about as good as my handwriting does. <laughs> not phenomenal. Not bad. Well, not bad. You want to give it a shot? Maybe try and do some just some nice detail work. <laughs> is, this, is this what this is this getting is competition. to? Competition. who can. That is that is some bad handwriting. Yeah, Cody. it's pretty poor. Although I haven't tried this yet, so that's what this has become. All right. Well, at least I know. At least I can follow your let. I don't even know if some of them are letters. <laughs> I think you got a number in there. Not bad, Randy, Man. not bad. And that's a nice clean cut you got there. Uh oh. One of the things that. What's that? Uh. Oh. Oh, yes, so we, we, do, we do have a nice thin that's nozzle right. as well. There we are. And this is an aluminum. I think I, I, think I won. I it, think you won the competition. Tonight. Okay. So, do we have any. Are there any other questions or anything? Do we have anything else? Oh, it, it no, it, it'll cut them. Sure, maybe you can get but, a nice close-up yeah. in here. It, it won't cut through them. When you lay metal, when you're plasma cutting and you lay metal on top, it'll cut through the first metal if, if it's not tight and sort of disperse out. Yeah. So it's not going to cut through the whole, the whole thing. It just kind of... It will gouge. It'll gouge them. And we sell more of these. They're also pretty easy to make. You can make them, probably buy, you can buy the bar somewhere and cut it in the lengths if you want. If you run into a pinch. Yeah, I mean, uh, granted, you just, you get the exact ones you need at Eastwood. So, this is a, this is a really cool tool. You know, so say, say you cut your piece of metal like this. You got it looking good. You're about to put it on. How would you finish that, Randy? <laughs> I know how you would finish it in about um, three or four weeks from now. How's that? The SCT, we gotta break it out. Why don't you give me a little demonstration here? So, this right here is the Eastwood surface conditioning tool, which I should have safety glasses for. But I've got, oh, and I do have safety glasses. This comes out, this is the game changer. This is Eastwood exclusive, Eastwood developed. You're gonna see it in an upcoming web series produced here at Eastwood. And uh, it's great for uh, prepping a car for paint. We might show you some of that, but see so you got this and uh, you want to prep it for, for paint. Okay? Yeah. So you got it. It's got variable speed. Get up to speed. Boom, that quick. You got a nice, nice brushed nice finish on there. Yeah. Wow. That Would, really took just, off all that surface rust. Yeah. And if you want, you know, and if you want it just a look, if you want that yeah, look, that brush look, it's a good look. It's going to have two other tools. I mean, two other uh, drums on it, I okay. guess what you call them. Yeah. Call I, them? I think we're going to do an expanding drum. Yeah. And then also a rust removal drum. And yeah, so the so expander one, you'll be able to put sandpaper on. Yep. So this tool, not only is it going to be for surface conditioning, you get those other two drums, you'll be able to strip paint, rust, body filler. Yeah. Pretty much everything on a car. We did a section, is there? You know, you got a little section, why don't you? Joe, you can you see this right, right here? here. I'll, try to, I'll try to get around where you can see it. Are you in here? So you can see there's just some surface rust. You got that. gone and the great thing about this tool is that if you're using it to strip paint and and uh, rust and everything when it's done it leaves like a paintable so right. you're, you're probably you're most likely not going to have to go back over it with sandpaper to right. make it uh ready for it's primer and just paint. enough tooth so then you can go yeah. in prime and you can see it's got you're some not going to have there. any scuff marks that you're going to have to hide nothing that's going to show through and 
You're going to start seeing promos. The end of September, this is coming out. This is just another game changer from Eastwood. And uh, yeah, you guys just Looking keep visiting Eastwood. At the end of September, you know, it's, it's going to be there. I'm sure we'll do a live video on, on that product too in Definitely. a few weeks. When you're back from your honeymoon, we can do a live video on it. So, anything else? Any questions? The only other question was just if you can put a, uh, a buffing pad on that on the uh, SCT. <laughs> We're looking into yeah. it. You know, uh, we actually we, we have some prototypes kicking around, so we've been testing that out. Really? Yeah, we, we've got a couple cotton buff prototypes. That's going to yeah. be the. That's that's going to be a pretty yeah. popular tool coming up. I can tell. So, again, VersaCut 60, huge sale today at Eastwood. Don't forget to check that out. Don't forget to share this video, even if you're watching it recorded, because tomorrow we're giving, a, we're giving away the Eastwood Guy starter kit, uh, which is a pretty cool kit. And um, all you have to do is share it. We're going to give that away on Friday. So if, if you're watching it recorded, you can still share it for a chance to win. And, yeah, tune in next week. We're going to be live on a Wednesday, next Wednesday and Thursday, I believe, at 3 o'clock. Awesome. So... Cool. I guess I guess we're out of here. That's All it. right. Well, Thanks, good luck. Guys. Good luck, yep. Cody. Thank you. Saturday.